Hey, every. <clears throat> can actually clog your scalp. It can actually clog the. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is 10 different habits that you can make mostly every day in order to make your hair grow long, strong, and beautiful. So the first habit that I wanna to touch on is not to overwash your hair. It's not that. A lot of people are gonna go right to that. But the first tip that I'm gonna talk about is not to overuse dry shampoo. And the reason being, it can actually clog the pores on your scalp. So you don't wanna block that sebaceous gland there. Otherwise the oils in your scalp can't get from here down to your ends where they need to get, which actually helps your hair grow better. I know a lot of people think that your hair looks greasy or it is greasy or anything like that, but those oils are actually really good for your hair and you want them to travel down a little bit further because that's going to help your hair grow in the long run. Now, I'm not saying don't use dry shampoo ever because I do, but I tend to use dry shampoo on the last day. I wash my hair maybe once, twice a week and on the last day before I wash, that's when I use dry shampoo. I don't use it every single day. Second tip, stop ripping through your hair with a brush. Stop it, stop it. Do not start at the top right here and then brush straight down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your hair in a ponytail and you're gonna start at the bottom like your mama taught you and then go to the next step and then go to the next step and then brush the whole thing through. Stop ripping through your hair with a brush. If you are hearing a ripping sound, your hair is ripping, you're breaking your hair, and you're ripping it out. Stop doing it. It's not helping you. Third thing that we're gonna talk about, I actually mentioned in my previous video or two videos ago, is to get regular trim. Now, I'm not saying that you need to cut off a fourth of an inch every six weeks because that's all it grew. No, what I'm saying is just cut off the split. If you guys need a tutorial on how to just cut off the splits of your hair, please go here and I'll link it down below. I just filmed a video on it and it's very helpful and informative but you want to make sure that you're cutting the splits off because otherwise they keep splitting all the way up your hair shaft and if you do that your hair is also going to become weaker and break so you want to make sure that you're cutting the splits when they happen hydrate i know i sound like a broken record when it comes to that one but hydration is key it's great for your skin it's great for your hair it's going to help everything grow better it's going to make you feel better it's just all over better for you do it. The next thing that we're going to talk about, you've heard over and over again, but I'm going to explain why, and that is avoid heat. So avoiding heat is really hard for some of us. I know for me, I just straightened my hair for the first time in months, and I love it straight, and I forgot how much I love it straight, but it's super, super damaging for your hair. Your hair is not going to grow past a certain length if you don't stop using the heat. So my suggestion is to find a style that requires no heat or a way to dry your hair that requires no heat that you can feel comfortable wearing every single day and rock that and then just use the heat styling on the weekends if you go out or for certain occasions sixth thing is take your vitamins vitamins help grow your hair so so much i'm not saying that you need to take a hair skin and nail vitamin or even a biotin or any of those miracle hair growth gummies or whatever it is you don't need that just take your regular multivitamins or make sure that you're getting a lot of vitamin dense food foods in your diet. That's really going to help your hair. Your hair is made of protein, it is keratin, and it will help your hair grow just naturally. Seven, this is one that I wish that I knew when I was younger, is don't put your hair up wet or tight. So what I mean by this is, do you ever see people when they put their hair up really tight and they get this all this little breakage around here and then their hairline looks like it's receding and then when they put it up on the top of their head, they have a crown of frizz coming out because their hair is breaking or down here. Some people get it down here a lot at the nape of their neck. It's because your hair is breaking because you're putting it up wet and it's expanding as it dries and then it's snapping off at the base of your elastic. So that is why you basically, I would say the biggest tip that I have is stop breaking the hair that you already have. Stop breaking it. Take care of the hair that you already have. It's my biggest tip right there. Number eight is products. Make sure that you know what you're putting on your head. Products are important. Ingredients are important. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, don't use parabens. Don't use 
dyes, don't use sulfates, make sure it's vegan. Make sure you know your products. Not all sulfates are created the same, guys. Not all sulfates are bad. Did you hear me? Not all sulfates are bad. Did you get that? Okay, not everything that you hear on the internet is bad for your hair. Make sure that you're taking care of your hair, you're knowing what your ingredients are, you know what you're using, and you're protecting your scalp and the hair that you have on your head. I personally use Moroccan oil products. That is because I love the products, but you know what? There are plenty of other lines out there that I really love that work really well. Colorwell, for example, is a amazing company that works really well for your hair. Nine, I'm gonna tell you is use gentler color services. If you have dark hair like me and you wanna go platinum blonde, it's going to damage your hair. Sometimes I lighten the ends of my hair, but sometimes I don't. Get a gloss if you're wanting to change your hair, but you're not really needing anything too much, but you need a little something just to make you feel better. Just do a gloss. It's going to be a semi-permanent, not gonna damage your hair at all, and it's gonna make it nice and shiny and fresh and feeling new without any damage. So go for a gentler hair service if you're not knowing what you're needing because that will really help you prolong your hair. Try to avoid things that are going to be extra damaging. And number 10 is just be nice to your hair. Take care of the hair that you have. Be super nice to it. Don't pull on it. Don't yank on it. Hi, Dan's literally sleeping while I film. YouTuber life, comment down below if you can relate. Be nice to your hair. Take care of the hair that you have on your head already. You don't have to replace that hair every time. Take care of this hair and then this hair will come. You want to start new hair, get everything flowing, rolling. You know what I mean. Anyways, give this video a big thumbs up if you found this helpful. Make sure you comment down below what your hair goals are and what products you use because I want to know what you're using. Anyways, subscribe to this video if you want to see more hair tutorials or anything like that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.